Alrighty guys, in today's video we're going to have a continuation of part 25 from our advanced flat parts. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we're back into the program here. So now, just a reminder, this is a continuation of our previous video we looked at. Uh, last thing we did was we set the diameter of the hole, so that will be D. I'm just gonna zoom in here so you guys can see. So over there, D. So now, next up, we've got here, yeah, you can see the YV, YV. And like I said, this is where it gets a bit confusing because um, not in all the uh, shapes is it like this. It's only this one so far but this one should have been a different um, number, it should have been XV. So they've got a YV and XV, but on the, this side they've got YV, YV. So just keep that in mind. So then um, let's first look at our YV, where is that located so we know what's it's setting. So as we can see here, yeah, YV. So this is gonna be the spacing between the circles that we've created. And the XV is gonna be the spacing um, so on the one is on the horizontal, the one is on a vertical plane. So basically the height between them and the width between them. Now keep in mind, as you can see these samples, it shows you it's from center to center. So let's just adjust that quick. And then, um, so we can uh, carry on. So YV first, let's go make this about, uh, let me see, try also 20 and YV. 20 just to see how that looks and then as you can see here next up we've got xn and yn now xn and yn like i said it's a bit confusing because you just see these but if we remember from previous one n tends to be for number so now on our x plane how many do we want and on our y plane so let's try it first the same as them so we get x plane 4 y plane 3 and just preview to make sure everything is fine as you can see we've got a little problem here everything is nicely snug here in the bottom so let's just see so we want to now look at our xv and yv we set these larger so let's go yv first i'm going to make this about 40 and 40 and let's see if we have a difference there we go now we can see it's starting to space this is our side spacing so now we can obviously just adjust this till we find something that works let's try about scale it quite a bit go 100 okay now it's too large so that will be on our x so this will be xv so that's a bit smaller try 80 try 60 let me just slowly go this down till i find something that works okay let's first set this down and we see okay so now we increase or decrease yeah, i want to increase this one a bit Let's try about 70, look. And then, other one is sit here uh, refining it for you guys. You can obviously first work out the measurements. But um, eventually what will happen is we will get to a place where we can actually um, align them all. Okay, I see what's the problem here. What's happening is, I think the top one is supposed to be XV. So let's try with this one's 50, 120. There we go, yeah. So the top one is XV and the bottom one is YV. So that is good to know. But yeah, otherwise that is it on our first quite complicated or advanced shape. Um, so just a quick, uh, I'll show you a good reminder. Remember that these two are not the same. So XV is on top, YV is at the bottom. And then the rest, you can kind of just follow along. So let's say, okay, manual quantity one add this to our canvas and then here we go we've got a nice advanced shape over here and then let's head to software training that's here today so once again like i mentioned um, we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and you can also isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find the training videos you're looking for just simply go yeah request a training video fill in the mini form and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you but otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.